Okay, today we'll be celebrating the first birthday ng godchild ko. He's the kid of my college friend Drew, short for Andrew. And before we go to the event, let's parang bring back muna yung story kung paano nabuo yung college group namin. Drew was the first to have a kid in our college group and celebrations like this brings our group back together. And tell you what, uh, sa Mapua, hindi naman ikaw yung pipili ng college group mo. Your college group chooses you. So, paano ko nasabi yun? Kasi in Mapua, pagpasok mo palang may kablak ka na. And malamang sa malamang, half of you will pass and half of you will fail. And cycle lang cycle yon until you hit your majors. And pagdating mo ng major, yun na yung mga tao makakasabay mo. So sila yung magiging college group mo. That's the point where there are a lot of group activities, especially during laboratory classes and design classes. And those group activities will solidify yung banyo as a group. And doon mo makikita yung tunay niyong baho. Doon mo makikita kung sino talaga yung masipag, sino yung butaw, sino yung runner. For those who doesn't have the context of runner, sila yung tumatakbo pagka may kulang yung grupo nyo na gamit pag may project kayo. But if merong part that would make your friendship last longer even than college, that is pagka tumatambay kayo even after school works. This was way back in 2013 and yung thing pa namin nun was to play bowling every after term. Then this photo, this was way back in 2014. So ito yung EECE summer outing. Ibig sabihin nito yung electronics, electrical, and computer engineering. So lahat na magkakaprogram, nag-outing, nagsa-summer outing, for additional points. Then, 2015, this was the most fun I had sa Mapua. Ito yung graduating class namin and yung highlight para sa akin nung taon na to is nung nag-Singapore kami. Siguro kasi hindi mo lang talaga madadala yung buong grupo mo outside the country and nangyari yun nung graduating class namin. So, yun, sobrang saya when you bring your whole gang outside the country. This was also the year that foreshadows my interest with cameras. You could see me in some photos na hinihiram ko yung camera ng mga friends ko but at that time, ginagamit ko lang siya to pose as a dick sa mga pictures and it took me two years to figure out how to properly use yung camera. I hope na gets niyo yung humor dun sa sinabi ko. Then in 2016, some of my friends graduated and we decided to travel sa Ilinido, Palawan and that's where this passion of mine was born. And yung 2017 to 2019 ko, makikita mo na yung bits ng mga videos na yun here in my YouTube video. So instead of me just talking about it, why don't you just watch it? So, I'll link it. Sino nagbigay ng Blue Magic sa'yo? G**o ka ba? High school yun! G**o! Merry Christmas mga kaibigan! Merry Christmas! Okay, just checking in. Papunta na kami dun sa birthday ni Jacob. And as usual, nakasabay na naman ako. From here on, I'll just narrate things. All of my friends are late, so what's new? So here they are. This is Maan and Zana. Maan is always the highest scorer in our exams, and Zana, just like before, is still great at passing relevant and updated informations. We took photos. Lots and lots and lots and lots of photos. And we ended the party by singing happy birthday to Jacob and greeting him wishes. After the party, we hung out for a while sa Ayala Malls by the Bay. Found a super cozy cafe, chat and talk about life for a while. It was always super fun hanging around with these guys. 
Lastly, this is Brian. It's almost two years since he last joined our group. I remember from one of my older videos before, sinabi ko na sana bumalik si Brian sa group namin. And funny enough, after a few months nung nirelease ko yung video na yun, it finally happened. Looking back, I never thought na yun na yung second time, second to the last time na sasama si Brian during our outings. Uh, the last time will be in this video. But this is this story is for another video. Uh, it's just parang uh, I wish or I hope na susama mas sa mga next na lakad namin. Cause I mean, like he was still part of the sa college group namin. Hey, pre, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey, bye bye. Lastly, this is Gian. If you're not new here, you've probably seen him from my past videos before. Okay, kasama ko ulit si Gian, yung college friend ko. So parang yung uh, gusto kong i-add sa video, para sa Gian, ano yung best part ng college group natin? Best part? Oh, best part of being part dun sa college group natin. Uh, pare pareho kayo takot na maantang dun. Yung parang sobrang pangit yung buhay mo. Feeling ko, pero supportive yung mga tao. So, takot tayo mag-fail, ganun? Parang ganun. So, parang lahat tayo supportive sa isa't isa na parang umangat. Oo, oh, kasi lahat tayo is takot. Parang alam mo yung fear nung, isang, nung isa't isa. Na alam mo na takot na mag-fail. Takot ah. sa ganito. So, alam mo na nagda-doubt siya sa sarili niya. Kasi ikaw mismo, nagda-doubt ka sa sarili mo. Oo. Ah, ah. So, alam nung bawat isa ay support. Yung bawat isa. Feeling ko. Okay. Kasi baka kabado yung mga tao sa atin. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> mag-get sa ibang tao yung feeling okay. na yung anxiety ng bawat isa sa grupo namin. Okay. Alright. Bye. Gabi na. Let me just wrap this video up. I just want to highlight three things. First is why I shoot videos. Second is what success means to me. And third is to live in the present. This is a few years before Drew had his kid and papunta kami sa BGC and tinanong niya ako why I shoot videos. Para sa Para maalala ko yung mga nangyayari. <laughs> Siguro majority of the reason people think na it's for me to make YouTube videos, partly that was right, but majority of the reason behind is for me ha, it's the closest thing we have to traveling back to the past. Somehow I could visit the time where my great grandmother was still alive, or kaya naman yung mga times where my aunt and tito was here in the Philippines visiting because of uh, some family events na napakasaya, or kaya naman yung naglalaro lang kami ng mga friends ko ng mga board games which I really miss. Recently I've been being too nostalgic about the past or dreaming too much of the future. Uh, yung time na all my hard work paid off and I finally achieved yung true freedom. Yung kailangan ko na lang maging ako and I don't have to play the rules of the others anymore. Somewhere in my early 20s, I realized na success for me is not having a big house, a fancy car, or luxurious items. Everyone is entitled for them to define what success means to them. For me, what success means is being happy, being free, and having security. Those are the main reasons why I wanted to be successful. Just wanted to share what's going through my mind recently. Going back dun sa being too nostalgic about the past and dreaming too much of the future, I wanted to correct it kasi I'm drifting too much from the present. I guess what I wanted to be one of the thesis of this video is to live more in the present. Whether you're having the best time of your life or you're facing the worst moments of your life, Let's appreciate the now. Let's be grateful for the past. Let's be hopeful for the future. But let's be fully present in the now. I wish I could end this video with a punchline, but I am at a point in my life where I wanted to push this YouTube as my career. So I would like to remind you lang na to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. So yun, I wish na na appreciate your thoughts ko and I wish you all the best and let's be fully in the present. That's it. Bye! This is Monique and this is Lawrence. They're also part of our group. And the reason why they wasn't able to attend this birthday party in Jacob is because they're in the US right now. So instead of me just animating them or whatever para may include sila sa video ko, instead I'll just make a video call with them. So here they are. Hello. Hello. Si Monique, si Lawrence. I-add nyo kayo dun sa video ko.
Lawrence, Monique. See you. Bye bye. See you. Yung concept ko kasi with this channel is you grow together with with the people who's watching and yun ah uh, I mean seeing me being this 25 year old kid and making progress sa life ko and also sharing yung yung experience ko with my family with my friends and yun ah uh, yun yung pinaka I think goal ko. Uh, in doing my YouTube videos is to share those moments, memories. I guess I said all that I wanted to say. Peace. I'm out. See you in the next video.